yes sir chapan sir i really don't have any questions to ask i just saw some of your things about someone had sent me your uh, comments about geeta ah okay okay so right so if i'm not wrong your claim was that uh, geeta was composed in 10th century uh, it is not practical stuff like that right yeah yeah so my claims on geeta i, I think i have three made three episodes uh, do you know telugu and do you speak telugu uh, i don't know telugu okay okay so let me explain then so my point is it, it uh, the discussion about when it was composed is going to get into unnecessary territory so let's talk about the usefulness of geeta so what i told in my three hmm. episodes was bhagavad geeta in its in its uh, state in its current state as it's available my claim is it is not useful for in the current generation maybe it was useful back then when the situation was different and this in this time and age it's no use and anything that it is supposedly teaching us is better taught by other moral stories irreligious not attached to any religion irreligious moral stories we can teach better that was my claim and the evidences that i showed is that uh, in, in the most recent episode last uh, episode i think i showed that uh, whoever is has come into contact with the gita krishna arjuna dhritarashtra sanjaya and others whoever has directly come into contact they themselves are not able to fulfill any of the requirements that gita posits gita says you will uh, you should be you should strive to be as detached as possible you should attain something called sthita pragnata right and uh, you should not at all think about the results you should not have love or hatred towards the result and you should not be uh, wanting results whatever happens will happen okay neither krishna nor arjuna nor dhritarashtra none of them whoever has heard this gita none of them have left any of those even krishna himself in the story he says that you should not be uh, attached to the result you should do what you do don't get angry there is no use getting angry getting angry means that you're losing your mind but he himself breaks all of those so my contention was who is it you who was it useful back then and who is it useful to right now not one of them is practical in in the in in the real sense this was my contention and ugra sir Hello? ugra sir i mean yeah. yes please. now you are yes tell right. us right 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 so what kind of use do we expect from it in the first place oh. what kind of what do you mean when you say it is useless or useful or what, what is this practicality okay. that you are expecting see i am going by the claims of people and geeta itself mm. see mm. i i am saying i am just saying that geeta says do this and this is what you'll get right for so an example geeta, i'll give you an example so he right. says at least krishna in geeta says that mm. uh, believe in me trust mm. in me and you will attain mm. heaven mm. does he say mm. that or not ಮೀನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ i i understand what no, no, you're coming from i'm just saying that since this is beyond the realm of naturality mm-hmm. uh, our natural senses of pratyaksha and anumana are not mm-hmm. sufficient here not sufficient here so i cannot uh, so there is a claim and they say that if you mm-hmm. do this you will get this i am not able to uh, uh, what do you say measure its uh, efficiency exactly it is true exactly or not. because it is correct because neither mm-hmm. the action is material nor the result is material okay Correct. then how is it useful for me that statement is not useful for me so i should ignore that right okay you may ignore that but who is it useful for i will ignore that but who is it useful for those who believe in uh, the sanctity of the veda so and they are believing in something that is supernatural for which they don't have any evidence for correct yes 
So can I call it a there is no material evidence. There is no material evidence, then that is the definition of superstition, isn't it? It is not the definition of superstition. It is. So uh, please define superstition, sir. Superstition is something uh, which you just do blindly. It is yeah, so, not founded in any authoritative source. No, it is founded in authoritative source. There are so many. Oh, superstition is do. not founded in authoritative source. No, they are. See, for example, there is absolutely no proof of anything of any kind ever shown that there is something called a heaven and believing in Krishna will go there, except for the text of Bhagavad Gita. So the one book is saying... And that is not true. The Veda also speaks of heaven. Uh, yeah, the they, tradition that stems from Krishna, the Veda right? also believes in heaven. Sorry? Doesn't say about Krishna, right? So believe in Krishna... Veda does say about Krishna. In fact, in fact, yes, uh, the Upanishads do talk about Devaki Putra Krishna. Okay. Upanishads were written after Bharat, uh, Mahabharata? Upanishads or... were composed... Uh, no, no. They were not composed after Mahabharata. Uh, if we take the chronology that is accepted, again, they were also no, much before the 10th century. Uh, and of let, course, they were... Definitely they were not composed. before 10th century, but let me stay with Bhagavad Gita, sir. I don't want to go back to some other place. So, you're saying that uh, Krishna says clearly in BG, in Bhagavad Gita, that believe in me, trust in me, and you will go to heaven. Now, Arjuna believed in him, trusted in him and did exactly what Krishna said. Arjuna ended up in Naraka. Why is that? Ugra sir. Ugra sir, I can't hear you. Ended up in Naraka. Yes sir, please repeat that. Arjuna ended up in Naraka, you are saying? Yes, Swarga Rohana Parvam, the 18th chapter, the final chapter, it clearly says only Yudhishthira goes to heaven and in when Yudhishthira goes to heaven, he asks Indra, I can see all the hundred uh, Kauravas here. Where are my brothers? He clearly says, all your four brothers As far as I remember that story, that was uh, Leela to test Yudhishthira. Uh, no, but okay, I mean, there is going to be some other explanation in the Mahabharata itself. I have not come yeah, across this story. No, no, I am telling you, you can go and refer. Yeah. It is in the 18th Parva, which is called Swarga Rohana Parvam. In that, okay. including Draupadi, the one who is wronged in the entire epic of Mahabharata, the one who is wronged, who was humiliated in front of everybody, that person, Draupadi, goes to Narakam. Okay, but the guy who actually did that heinous act of uh, uh, you know Chiraharanam and all that. Dushasana See, if we are going to cherry pick Arkham. examples, then of course we no, can also from things. other parts of Mahabharata we could also. Take the good things that Yudhishthira did and the bad things that Draupadi did, and uh, also sir, I, make similar why statements. Asking, that's why I took the example hmm. of Arjuna. Bhagavad Gita okay. says, Krishna clearly says, "Trust in me, do as I say, she do as I say, believe in me, and you will attain heaven." Arjuna okay. did not end up in heaven. What do we do with that? How do you know Arjuna did not end up in heaven because you do it's not in believe Mahabharata. in the existence of heaven, hell, right? Okay. Boss, I'm talking about the claims made in the book. I claims don't have made to in Mahabharata, it. correct? Correct. Yeah, okay. claims made in Mahabharata. So th these are going to be explained in a different way in Mahabharata itself. No, I have not come across not. this particular chapter. And you have taken one particular example and uh, portraying no, one I'm, particular side of it. I'm not portraying one side of it. There is no other side of it. So okay. I, I, I actually uh, am conversant with this. So Arjuna ended up in Narakam. See, because this is clearly a very... Important question. He, of course, mm -hmm. followed Krishna. Why did he did not end up in heaven? I am pretty sure this has already been answered by the tradition. Oh, they have, yeah, yeah. They have they have, uh, they have given a good uh, concocted mm -hmm. story that um, Arjuna mm -hmm. made some other papam in the back in his uh, remainder of his life. So that's why he went off. But then the question okay. came. And that is not believable did... because? Yeah, I'll tell you. And then mm -hmm. the other story is that uh, Yudhishthira again asks, okay, but then how did Kauravas end up in heaven? Because they are all sitting in there. That's what he sees, at least according to the story. He sees all the 100, 100 Kauravas sitting there. And he asks Indra, how come these guys ended up here? The simple answer they, he said was, Kauravas were killed on the Kurukshetra. And Kurukshetra has a boon, it seems, that if you, get, if you die there, you will end up in... Uh, heaven, no matter what, whatever crappy thing you do in your entire life, if you die in Kurukshetra, you will go to heaven. My question is, what kind of a legal system is that? How is it different from believing in Allah and going to heaven, however bad you are, 
believing in Yehovah and going to heaven and Jesus uh, going to heaven, however bad you are. Sir, you went off on mute again. Am I on mute again? No, no, now you are. Now you are audible. Okay, first of all, this is not a legal system. And uh, as far as I have heard, the Kauravas went to heaven because they died on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. Not yes, because of I'm some... Saying. On that's the battlefield of Kurukshetra while performing their dharma. So whatever you do in your entire life, however bad it is, if you die in Kurukshetra, you are going to heaven. If you die performing your dharma, their dharma was really fighting, that's all. Not fighting, protecting the people. They were Kathriyas. Yeah, they were they were fighting for their own lands, right? Because these Pandavas right. wanted the lands. Right. Right. So they were performing their dharma. Okay, so and if you perform your dharma, dharma okay. ha, if, if you die anywhere else, they wouldn't have gone, right? Only Kurukshetra has that power. That I have never come across actually, but okay. No, uh, again, I have Mahabharata. to go through the entire text again and uh, find out what the commentaries say, all of those things. So how, so how is it relevant to this time? See, nobody is a Kshatriya right now because actually the one who calls themselves Kshatriya are not in the military or the protective forces. They're doing all sorts of jobs. Right? No one is a Kshatriya right now. So what dharma is are we talking about and how is it relevant to the current society? Dharma, what you're talking about is dharma is defined in multiple texts. It's, uh, for example, the most clear definition. Let's talk about Gita only. Hmm. Let's talk about how Gita defines dharma. Okay, how does, does Gita, Gita define dharma? I'm asking you, sir. What do you I understand? have not really gone through it. So you didn't go through Bhagavad Gita also properly? Not properly, no. Sir, you are defending something you have not read yourself first hand. I have not read myself first hand, meaning, okay, fine, right. No, how come you are defending some uh, some book which you have not read first hand yourself? Did you at least Because the tradition the upholds the. No, Sorry? tradition is. Traditions are not to be upheld, sir. Traditions are supposed traditions to be. Traditions are to be upheld. No, no, no. no, no. That is, that is my entire point. That, traditions no, are to be upheld. Total, that's total bogus, sir. Traditions ah. are supposed to be that questioned is and then. Wait, sir. Why? Traditions okay. Who gave us the? Who gave us the? Oh, how do we know that we are better than tradition to question tradition? I'll I'll give you an answer. Wait, sir. Hmm. Every because time is changing, the world is changing. Okay, time is changing. Correct. One second, sir. Please let me complete. Hmm. The world is changing. The uh, the people's sensibilities are changing. People are getting more and more knowledge about the world and about each other's uh, uh, sensibilities. So we have to keep questioning whether the tradition that was relevant 100 years back is relevant today or not. It's no longer relevant because there are hundreds and hundreds of traditions we have just abandoned because they don't have any use in the current society or it's not even feasible to have in the current society. Did you read Manudharma Sastra, sir? Okay. Yes, I have gone through a little bit of Manudharma little bit a little bit in the sense that uh, some youtubers have made some videos uh, saying extolling that it is no no, no not book. youtube i have gone through the original text in sanskrit yes okay and you found you did not find anything objectionable there that is totally useless for this society of course there are many things objectionable there are many things objectionable in plato also in aristotle also in uh... Uh, say john locke also nobody has uh, yeah even john hmm. locke nobody is a devotee of john locke sir John Locke and uh, Plato and Socrates and everybody are uh, open for criticism. There are no bhakts of okay. uh, Plato coming down and saying, how dare you question my Plato? Nobody is doing that, sir. So now okay. tell me. And uh, who, gave, who gives us the right to question Plato or Aristotle or Manu? We give are ourselves we really... the right. They are, they are public property, sir. They are public property. They gave up they a human public... thought. Yeah, they gave a human thought to the world. And that thought can be either accepted or refuted based on that current society's, uh, what do you say, uh, um, whatever the current society feels at that point in time. Like I said, some tradition can be acceptable 100 years back, which is not at all acceptable now. Humans, we give ourselves the right to question thoughts because everything is a human thought. There is nothing divine or there is nothing uh, uh, king given. We don't live in a kingdom, sir. Ugra, sir, you are again on mute. Hello, am I audible? Yes, now you are. Okay, so you are saying humans should decide. Yes, because I'm asking are, humans because disagree the... between ourselves. Yeah, humans absolutely. do disagree between ourselves. So that's whose good idea should we take? Oh, that's a good Correct. thing. Disagreement, so, disagreement is the way. Disagreement to go. is a very good thing. Yeah. 
I accept. Okay. So what is to be taken as the authority? What is to no. be followed? It's the common knowledge and the common good. That's the supposed common to be taken. knowledge. Okay. So does everybody okay. accept on the what is the common knowledge and what is the common not good? everything. That's why we have something called democracy okay. and that's why we have something called constitution, which is agreed okay. upon. And if someone doesn't is it, need... is it is it really agreed upon constitution? Is it agreed upon by everybody? Yeah, if you are born here, you are agreeing yes. by fiat. If you don't think that this so someone is forcing is me to agree you. to it, is it? No, 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 no. You are because free I don't to remember signing anything saying that I'm agreeing to it. Yeah, your birth is actually the signature. If ah, you, there is another point. Understood. There is another point. Correct. If you don't like mm. this constitution and if you think that some other mm. constitution is better, you are free mm. to immigrate to that land. Precisely. Yes, yeah. that is exactly my point. So there exactly. has been some, there has been some rules and some traditions that uh, mm. the society has formed, which yes. it has upheld for so many years. And, and by the mere true. fact of seeking refuge in that society, you mm -hmm. implicitly agree to conform to those rules. Yes, and at some point in time, mm. when the rules are not working for everybody in the uh, in mm. the proper way. We should be having the authority to change those rules and make sure that everyone is, uh, you know, given their due importance. And who does we, the we, is, hmm. we the people. Who do you think? Okay. And what does working mean? Because people, again, I told uh, there is no one okay. people. Everyone has different thoughts. And what yeah, does yeah, work mean? Right. Rules are not working. That, that working, what does it mean? What are okay. it? What is our I'll, goal? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Hmm. Okay. If you're uh, uh, at some point in time, he, uh, women did not have the right to vote. You know that, right? Mm. Mm. Right, yes. Right. Somebody has decided half of the human race cannot be left like that. So they have to have, because when they are not voting, but they are subjected to the rules that they did not even accept. Right. Mm. So somebody has started saying, boss, this is not going to work. They also need to have a voice. They are living in this mm. society. Somebody said, let's give them a vote. Now they have okay. a vote. They can go, Correct. go and vote and they can uh, at least make their voice heard. So Correct. somebody has changed the rule, right? Previously, there was no rule like uh, having a vote for women. Now somebody has changed. Correct. Who's, whose okay. benefit has it worked for? To answer the question, please. Whose benefit has it worked for? What is the goal that we are working towards and what has this particular ah. thing achieved? The goal is to maximize benefit for as many people as possible in the society. This is called the golden okay, rule. Maximize benefit. How are we measuring benefit? Ha, benefit is not having to be discriminated, not having to be uh, held hostage, not having to be harassed. Okay, all very extreme words. Discriminated, yeah, extreme. hostage and harassed. Yeah, extreme okay. words because that, that's what Manu Smriti Okay, so are you that's saying every, that for uh, before 1800s religion. or 1900s? Hmm. Right, so before 1800s or 1900s, women were discriminated, harassed and held hostage. Oh, I've or, shown uh, every how many years humanity has been for? Yeah, I've shown every single religious book where women are worse than second class citizens. Every single book, even Ramayana, even Mahabharata, even uh, Manu Smriti, Parashara Smriti. Everything, about, hmm. uh, even Bhagavad Gita, everything I've shown already. I have detailed episodes already uh, about these. Okay, and uh, the Women tradition also has detailed episodes on why that is wrong. That is fine. Okay. What, who has? Who has? You have? The tradition also has this detailed descriptions of why uh, uh, your interpretation is not correct. Absolutely wrong. They, uh, people have, uh, people want to agree what they can. See, the point is not about Exactly, that's what I'm also saying. Now that, okay. now that we have disagreement, Okay. Hmm. And when I say the uh, uh, Gita is useless for this society, okay, hmm. it was my opinion, right? So hmm. you have, you came here to say that there is still use for this society. I'm asking you, how is it useful? I never said there is any use for the society or anything. Okay. I said it yeah, is thanks, a sacred text that. that has been upheld by tradition. Okay. So sacred text needs to be either in a prayer hall or a museum. It does not need to be in management classes. Do you? No, it to has that? to be. It has to be in. It should not be in management classes. It should be in uh, everyone's house and everyone's uh, puja room. Okay. If they have a puja room, they can have it. If they don't need a puja room for need for any god, they don't need to have it. And you have just agreed that it doesn't need to be taught in colleges or schools where there is a professional education done. Is that right? 
it doesn't need to be meaning you don't need to teach them ethics also you don't need to teach them values social norms no. sir none of those are really required all you really no, need is mass values are, that is fine ethics ethics and values are needed but there are no ethics and values in bhagavad gita that's what i'm saying there are, are ethics and values in bhagavad gita yeah. I no no I I I did a detailed mm. episode and unfortunately you don't have uh, you, you don't know Telugu but I'm saying there is I give a pros and cons of uh, this thing before Bhagavad Gita and after Bhagavad Gita before Bhagavad Gita no, your, your interpretations of Gita are only wrong no, uh, me, meaning let, let, the way you have interpreted okay, one example I'll give you one example please continue yes no sir I'll give you one example you okay. tell me how am I wrong okay before hmm. Gita was actually disseminated okay the first few slokas Arjuna keeps saying boss i am seeing all my family members i cannot kill them i might as well hmm. be dead i don't want hmm. this kingdom i will die unnecessarily if i fight my generation sorry my vamsham and the other vamsham both will suffer incalculable losses i don't want to have that on my conscience let me go i will leave this uh, battlefield right now this is the first few slokas hmm. right arjuna vishadayo okay. right hmm. right after so before listening to the gita he had humanity left in him he said i will be dying i do i want to die i don't even want this bloody kingdom ah, that go. is not humanity it's correct okay he had humanity human confusion left in him okay correct after hmm. after bhagavad gita he killed seven hmm. akshaghanis of humans correct you know how correct. many akshaghanis yes. okay so seven uh, so, akshaghan is fine okay now, now imagine the same thing now imagine the same thing remove bhagavad gita and put quran there Okay. After listening to a set of verses from Quran, Quran is not established and... in any way. Hold sir, time hold, sir. hold sir, okay. hold sir. I'm hmm. not talking about it. I'm just making a point. Try to understand without your uh, Hindu glasses. Okay. Try to understand from a rational point of view. If any ah, other book other is... than Gita, if any other book hmm. other than Gita, any other religious book, you would immediately say it is a terror manual because after reading that book or after listening to those verses, this fellow has killed. tens of lakhs of people but because it is gita that you is a very very dharma. reductionist take no it is it is and it is exactly true tell me why it is wrong before listening it is a very reductionist take had... yes okay can i tell why it is wrong yes sir okay so first of all he was in a confused state of mm. sac- of uh, sacrificing himself instead of looking at the greater good mm-hmm. dharma is essentially that which sustains society if you okay. let people like the kaurava survey all trust mm-hmm. society is going to be lost and society is going to collapse and uh, you are not going to you are just going to protect yourself and uh, your all selfish needs of not having any blood on your hands okay so after once you realize the truth told by bhagavan in uh, gita which mm-hmm. is again a lot of philosophy and a lot of uh, lectures on dharma and what is the greater good and how it is okay to sacrifice the lesser for the greater good so what happened let's yeah. let's summarize what happened after bhagavad gita after kurukshetra okay pandavas yeah. have died pandavas sons have died and every one of the pandavas even pandavas did not die after kurukshetra pandavas ruled their kingdom after kurukshetra yeah for 30 they years they died long after died. okay 30 years for 30 years they everyone... ruled established yeah. dharma there was no right okay there was no kaurava yeah, so style there... rule for under the pandavas Right, there is absolutely right. no other uh, uh, hmm. sons or uh, this thing. No one continued to their vamsham. Everyone is dead. Even Krishna's own Yadu vamsham is dead. Absolutely, no one survived okay. from there. Okay. So, what okay. was the use of this Kurukshetra? Just killing everybody? You want to establish dharma for thirty years? You ruled, and then you left without any uh, uh, ruler. Everyone died. What is do you that... mean? Everyone died. The people still survived. You didn't, only you the, didn't royal the, huh, royal only the royal clans perished ha royal clans perished only the royal clans perished who will establish dharma so only again? the royal clans exist in the world or what i don't understand no who will establish dharma again if everyone died everyone from the royal clans died people have been establishing dharma that is the reason we have gita today i don't understand your question yeah. the same so dharma still that, continues to this day it means that because of mahabharata war okay ha uh, royal clan is not needed people can sustain their own dharma you just proved my people point people could not sustain their own dharma they could sustain dharma because of the veda and allied texts they could sustain who, themselves because of dharma who say, who decides this dharma ah the vedic who texts is, and uh, those who belong to the tradition decide this dharma the veda ah, decides by, dharma. by what re, by what way how did somebody's dharma is decided 
uh, the rishis were able to perceive the dharma directly no and i'm asking have... you hmm. no i'm okay. asking you there is hmm. a baby boy or a baby girl hmm. how does someone establish uh, ascertain their dharma in their life in future their dharma is that their by life birth? is that by birth i don't understand what you're talking about the way no, those some... who Huh. No, dharma is in context, right? See, a kshatriya has that dharma. That is dharma you are talking about. There is a there is a samanya dharma also that is applicable to everybody. Okay, is that described in Mahabharata or Bhagavad Gita? It is described in Manusmriti. It should be described in Mahabharata also. No, but at least Bhagavad Gita does not talk about. It only talks about personal dharma. You have to go and fight because you have to uh, kill them all. You have to sustain dharma. It's about personal things. It's not about general rule, general rule of law. Nothing about that. I mean, it is not meant to be a going... law book. It is meant to be a philosophical text. Yeah, in, in it is meant to be a philosophical text. religious text. If it's a philosophical mm-hmm. text, it can have an expiry mm-hmm. date, and it is long past its expiry date. Just like you mentioned in the beginning that. Okay, uh, uh, that is your Plato opinion. Has... The tradition, yeah, the I... tradition that has preserved this text has still continued, and uh, still yeah, upholds can... the philosophy. That philosophy still exists in this world. Existence is not the question, right? Even the Hitler's book also exists. Doesn't matter. Hitler's book also exists it, in the universe right now. Doesn't mean that Hitler's it ideology collapsed on itself. Nazism collapsed on itself. It it is not it is not a very yeah, yeah. Uh, sustainable yeah, yeah, ideology. Same, same thing with Bhagavad Gita. It is totally useless for this world at this point. It is a, it is a very sustainable England, ideology and it has sustained for around thousand five hundred years. That's your no, no, opinion. I'm saying it has it has no, actually physically it has no no it is not my opinion. How is it my opinion? The same no, philosophy no, of Bhagavad Gita, whatever no, it was in three hundred BCE. Exists in 2022 AD. Is that true or false? Absolutely not, because it, it is true only because still you are because okay. Ugrasar. If it is false, if if it has Ugrasar. already expired, then what? Ugrasar. No, no. Just let me ask one Ugrasar. question. Ugra sir, you cannot prove that it no, is. No, no, so, no, no, no. Please, please, please. Let me ask just one question. Yeah, tell. If it has already expired today, then mm-hmm. what exactly are you arguing against? Against people who are uh, saying that it should be put into management classes. You didn't re- read any of my comments, sir. No, 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 no. Even I disagree on putting it into management classes. Then why are, then why are uh, I'm saying that. It? Then why are we arguing? No, no. I am I saying that. I am saying that philosophy still people? exists in the world. That philosophy can... is very much relevant today. Is what I am saying. Sir, Nazism is that still alive. Is... That doesn't mean it's still good. Nazism is Nazism... not still alive. It is not still relevant. It is not relevant. Nazism... It is not upheld by any tradition. It has collapsed. Okay, sir, you did. You don't know illegal. anything about. Okay. You, you have no. Hmm. You have no idea what is U.S. politics. In U.S., you can be a Nazi and you can still be a, a publicly uh, acceptable. Okay. No, don't you cannot. Be. All that. Please do not. Or, no, no, no. Or, you, it, you cannot do you that. Can be, you, you can be. You can. You can. Put yourself a swastika and nobody will kill you. Nobody will put you in jail. Okay? No, no, no. You it is, it call is literally illegal. You can't call yourself a neo-Nazi, boss. No. I don't know where you're getting this. Either you okay, are. Okay, fine. They, they may be neo-Nazis. They are not continuations of the Nazi tradition, which collapsed on itself. Okay. They, Now, they are some French groups which are just I trying to upgrade whatever it was from there. I don't know what you're arguing I'm, for. I'm, you just, okay. What you I'm just, arguing just, is. No, sir. Boss. No, no. You are, not picky, Ari, you are not no, no, right, no, you're not you're not taking any argument clear okay no you're not making any sense at all because you are saying it is still valuable right now it is still present in this yes it is still valuable right now it's not valuable Correct. it's not valuable to me it's not it is very much valuable to people around the world how can you say about me sir how can you say that it is valuable to me it's useless for i'm me. not talking about fine let it be useless for then you it i mean i may say then it could be useful for you sir why don't you have be happy having your book with you and reading from it and be happy about it why are you trying to say that everybody it is useful i am telling it's not useful for anybody see i am not saying that well, my so point is that the for? tradition of the exactly let me explain no my point is that the tradition that created the veda still survives to this day and it is still very much valid the yeah. same way that it you accept the constitution as valid by birth yes sir ogra sir hmm. the minute the minute you say it is still valuable it is you uh, you lost okay if you say that it is still available it is still alive i will say it yes, is very it much is still, still valuable it is okay. not valuable it is useless in my view okay because there your are no views are wrong. okay fine uh, you can have wrong views use, useless sir only you can have, and, and yes your views are completely uh, useless fine hmm. yeah your your views are also useless sir. then what are we arguing about hmm. Exactly. If you simply you want to directly discuss any, the other view as useless, sir, you did not give any any answer to why uh, you know uh, why it is useful. Not even to Krishna, not even to Arjuna, not even to Dhritarashtra. Nobody has got use for it. It is Everybody useful knows. for Atma Jnana. It is it is useful to realize Brahma Jnana. It is one of the prasthanatrayi. 
it's and used nice in realizing people, brahman and only people who yeah. believe in that nonsense will find it useful people who don't believe in that nonsense will not find it useful what is the confusion in that you are afraid for that nonsense no atma gyana is totally totally bullshit it's total nonsense correct people have been saying this for thousands of years there have been charvakas from god knows absolutely me. then what is your problem sir why are you arguing against it nastika prachara is wrong that is all because it uh, leads to how loss of dharma that? which leads how do you know because that because yes yes let me explain let me explain it no, leads no, no, to it does not believe in dharma you are done sir is that you are you are jumping between here and there and you took hmm. brought nastika you brought charvaka i was to, you are talking about bhagavad gita nastika charvaka i didn't bring uh, that is literally no. what you are saying okay i didn't okay, say fine. anything sir you brought it just because you lost the argument i did not lose the argument your because idea you is literally sense, nastika sir. Yeah, yeah, that's okay, okay. Right, even you. I can say you also do not make any sense. That is fine. That's okay. Then leave it at that. Why are you wor- worried about uh, me not believing and many people not believing? Why are you not happy that mm-hmm. you believe in it? Why are you have not happy? You came here to argue that it is still valid. It is still valid, right? If some people think right, that it, it is, is still valid, it's not at all valid. If some people think it is not valid, what is uh, what is paining you? Nothing is paining me as such. Then why did you come to it... argue saying that it is still valid? You see, you could have because you are that arguing it is... that it is not valid, and I am just countering ah. that. That is all. But we you, never you started saying counter, that right? it is. You failed to counter. You you kept on. I saying I, it I is never valid. failed to counter. Huh. But yes, I did say it is valid. On, I do say it is valid. You kept on saying it okay. is valid, but you did not have. You have not given any indication or why it is. I, I gave lots of indications. What indication you did have, I not give? No, you ah. have zero what, what? evidence. Hmm. All all the evidence. What evidence do I not have? What sort of? Boss Sugra sir, this yelling will not work here. Okay. okay i gave you evidence that arjuna did not go to heaven as promised in that okay and uh, uh, establishment of dharma see, all Gita the plans were not were see you no know, no that, oh, that sir, logic does not even make sense at all hold on sir hold on hmm. sir. okay none of the things that is uh, that is made available in gita has been done by uh, uh, krishna himself third day of the war he gets angry on bhishma and he wants to kill him he himself on the first day of the bhagavad gita he says uh, getting angry is useless people become stupid after getting angry he himself says that on the first day on the third day he jumps out of the chariot and he wants to kill bishma so who is it useful it is total useless for him also now who is it trying to fool everybody are you comparing I mean, bhagavan with human i don't understand only your no, no. logic don't even make sense i'm sorry oh, krishna is not human is it yes he is not human okay now i understood what who i'm talking to sir next one more thing I'll, let yes. me ask, uh, let me let me uh, make you one more argument he says uh, uh, in bhagavad gita krishna says that uh, death is just a phase don't worry about uh, dying don't worry about killing people die people come people go they give birth don't worry about the cycle relax right but when his own son arjuna's own son is killed he makes a shapada saying i will kill that fellow by the end of the evening okay krishna didn't even say anything At least what is the contradiction that... here there is no contradiction here okay oh, there is no contradiction so see he... there is no uh, contradiction at all abhimanyu was just dead because... right why is he why is he Correct. angry why is he angry he has just changed his clothes right his shirt has changed why is he getting angry isn't it normal because that by particular the, cell the, which has which has been noted in dharma has been killed by because... someone following a dharma and that is right he has ah. caused to be angry ha ah. so now just now you said they are fulfilling their dharma and now you say they are adharmis for killing abhimanyu You know what? Correct. They are other means. Sir? They are other means because they are. There is no contradiction at all. They are oh, following. No they are full dharma because... alone. They are not following the greater dharma. What is uh-huh. what is the contradiction here? Lesser dharma, greater dharma. <laughs> only yes. only guys from Miskon can make a bullshit very tasty. I am not from Miskon. Sorry. Well, okay. Anyone who is a Krishna devotee and a Bhagavad Gita devotee can only make this kind of bullshit tasty, sir. Lesser dharma and greater dharma. And and then I'll give you one more example. Come on, you you don't even want to uh, you don't you are going to run away after I say lesser dharma, greater dharma because you are dealing with God. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not about dealing, sir. Okay. Okay. Six o'clock is my because end. Because you time you do not want to deal with it. Okay, fine. Understood. No, 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 okay. no, no. I have dealt it sufficiently, and you're the one who just kept on yapping without any answer, without any evidence, and just making a claim. See, once I told you about claims. lesser dharma and greater dharma, you don't want to, you don't want to have... even continue the conversation. That totally useless. Fine. No, that is entirely correct. Fine. Totally it's useless. Totally useless argument. Right. It is totally useless argument. What is lesser dharma? What is exactly. greater dharma? This is total nonsense. Because you nonsense. don't want to justify your, you don't want to justify that statement. Okay. <laughs> such a clown you are sir thanks a lot for coming and thank you thank you, yes, thank you thanks a lot thanks a lot yeah such a clown you <laughs> lesser dharma greater dharma what kind of nonsense see whenever these kind of people come 
they when they lose they have not shown a single argument the fellow did not have a single argument all he kept on saying was it is written in the book it is still valid it is still valid it's called opinion my dear ugra sir you have not been ugra you have just been a blabberer that's all i would have said to your face but you had to leave anyway even i have to leave this is <laughs> total useless discussion but still it was very funny it was entertaining i would welcome sir i don't mean in a disrespectful way this is actually good trying some, somebody trying to win over by just arguing and not showing any evidence i showed clear evidence that um, arjuna did not go to heaven as promised in the bhagavad gita dhritarashtra did not observe this uh, keeping anger in control krishna did not keep his anger in control total useless everyone lost in the war including the one who gave bhagavad gita including the one who listened to bhagavad gita everybody lost and everybody lost pathetically nobody has been successful in the end just because i uh, he is uh, you know pandavas have ruled for 30 years that doesn't mean a victory it's called a phiric victory p h y r r i c phiric victory i know you have no conscience or anything because you have not read bhagavad gita yourself and you came to defend but this is exactly what it is okay it was a joke and the joke is on you unfortunately sir 